Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yes, your girl is starting another journey because quite frankly I haven't got enough going on and quite frankly I also cannot keep up with anything going on but yes, you know, the guys over at Patreon, they had a choice and they've picked for me to begin Harry Potter so here I am. I've got to provide the goods, I've got to provide the services so here I am. And there is a funny story about myself and Harry Potter. I mean not personally, that sounds a bit personal, there's not. But basically, you're probably thinking, she probably doesn't even know what Harry Potter is, but I do. I really do. And the funny story is story time. When I was younger, I was scared of the guy with no nose. And I'm pretty sure his name was Voldemort. I do know some of the characters. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I haven't ever ever seen not even a scene because I have. I know there's Harry Potter, I know there's Hermione, I know there's Ron, is it Ron? Something like that. I know there's Hagrid and Voldemort. Five. <laughs> so I'm not completely in the lurch but also not my preference to watch if you would have asked me quite some years ago because I was scared. I was scared of Harry Potter. I was scared of watching Harry Potter. But here I am, 2021. What better time to start it? But also, I feel like I'm kind of not watching it on my own because you guys are sat here watching it with me, so even better, I feel like I have company. It's almost like watching a horror movie but not on my own because I'm watching it with you guys. So I'm gonna be starting my journey. Like I said, I'm not gonna lie, I have never fully watched a movie of Harry Potter but I have watched scenes here and there so I do know a couple of names and a couple of bits here and there but I'm not techie with it. I don't really know what the hell's going on because most of the time when I was watching I was like phone up, phone up. It's just one of those okay? It never fully interested me but never did the MCU either. I never watched the MCU and look where I am today in 2021. I bloody love it so <laughs> anything can happen anything can happen even just after watching this. So I'm just going to jump straight into this one and get on to watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, there's going to be lots of big words in this, I can just feel it. No? Okay. But I'm just going to jump straight into this one. Hope you guys enjoy. If you are new to the family, uh, feel free to, you know, just drop a just drop a subscribe down there and join the family. Uh, let's just get straight on to watching the first Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Okay, I do actually remember the music. I do, I do, I do, I do. Wow, it makes me sound like I'm getting married. Ugh, weird. Sorry. I mean, it just has such spooky music as well. I think this is why I was scared. Everything was just adding up to it just being a horror movie. Are the rumours true? Help us. I'm afraid so, Professor. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? I would trust Hagrid with my life. Professor Dumbledore, sir. <laughs> Professor McGonagall. This is one of the ones I remember. Okay. There you go. Do you really think it's safe leaving him with these people? He's far better off growing up away from all of that until he is ready. Good luck, Harry Potter. Now that would be a very easy cosplay, you know? Bam! The reveal, guys. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Is he all grown now? Oh, look, baby Harry. Mm. Oh, come on. He's awake. Get over it. Make it move. Make it move. He's boring. Oh, sorry. Sorry, darling. <laughs> Did you just wink? Can you hear me? Oh, shit. That looked like a nod from me. I've never talked to a snake before. I don't think anyone has. I never knew my parents either. Mommy! Dad, come here! Do you believe what this snake is doing? Oh shit! 
Now he awake? Mmm. Look he shit himself now. <laughs> <laughs> He's ill at the front of well. Go, 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 like your standard postman egg. Eh? <laughs> you ready to deliver the message whether you like it or not? The whole gang gang pulling up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh shit, we can have plenty of letters. Oh, turbulent letters. His worst nightmare. Harry bloody loves it. He's like, yes, been waiting for this day. <laughs> okay. Uh, I baked it myself, words and all. What is it? Oh. Who are you? <laughs> Rubius Hagrid. Keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. You're a wizard, Harry. Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. You'll not be going. Oh, and I suppose a great muggle like yourself's going to stop him, are you? Muggle? Non magic folk. Just helping young Harry here by his school supplies. Yes, my son. It's Harry Potter. There is like, who? Harry, this is Professor Quirrell. He'll be your defense against the dark arts teacher. He's so cute. All those people back there. How is it they know who I am? I'm not sure I'm exactly the right person to tell you that, Harry. Oh, of course. Of course the war moves. This is some trippy one division shit right now. Honestly, just seeing the excitement on his face just makes me such a happy person. This came out so long ago. I'm so late to the party, but I just enjoy it, don't I? I fucking love it. <laughs> Damn, that coin though. Okay. I didn't think your mum and dad would leave you with nothing though, did you? I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Butter. He's like, who the hell are all these people right now? Why does everybody know me and I don't know any of these people? <laughs> Give it away. Oh no. Oh! Sh shit! He gonna ruin the play. <laughs> and that's him just having a little play around with it. Bloody hell. He's like, you're gonna be paying for those in a bit. That's cool. We just let it slide. We just let it slide. Now this is the one. I feel like he's gonna knock that guy out. Oh shit! Not making his hair move and shit. Mm -mm. It is curious that you should be destined for this one when its brother gave you that scar. And who owned that wand? We do not speak his name. Happy birthday! Oh, of course, can't go miss killed my parents, didn't he? The one who gave me this. Voldemort. 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 Okay, I know that one. <laughs> Voldemort started to gather some followers. Anyone that stood up him ended up dead. Your parents fought against him, but nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Oh. Nobody, not one, except you. Hmm, interesting. Voldemort tried to kill me. A mark like that only comes from being touched by a curse and an evil curse at that. What happened to Tina Holmes? Well, some say he died. Now, uh, your train leaves in ten minutes. Here's your ticket. There's no such thing, is there? Is he gone? 
That's another thing I never used to like. Trains. No. Never catch me getting on them. Just about conquered my fear of trains. <laughs> it's because I got stuck in one when I was younger. So ever since I'm a bit cautious, okay? Okay. We can let that one slide a little bit more than Harry Potter, right? Oh, shit. Nine and three quarters through the wall. Could, could you tell me how to... Now all you've got to do is walk straight up the wall between platforms nine and ten. Oh no, I don't feel like it's going to go tits up. It's going to go tits up. Aye, aye, aye. Oh. Damn, my anxiety is going through the roof then. I literally thought it was just going to hit against the wall and just rebound. <laughs> now. That Hogwarts Express. What should be the next time I'm at, a, I'm at a platform at a train station? I'm just gonna look at walls and think, is that another entrance to another train? Let's try it! Let's try it! <laughs> These films really get me tripped out, man. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry, Harry Potter. Do you really have the scar? Oh. Wicked. Man. They're on a feast right now. Hermione! Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. Oculus, repair room. Holy cricket! You're Harry Potter! I'm Hermione Granger. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. I love the sass. Love it! Come on now, first year, don't be shy! This is going to be a whole vibe, isn't it? They're like, whoa! <laughs> I mean, imagine just turn up to this place on a couple boats. Be astounded. Got loose hair. Welcome to Hogwarts. Before you can take your seats, you must be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Your house will be like your family. The sorting ceremony will begin momentarily. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. Harry Potter. And I'm Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. He's clearly the evil one. I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself. I oh, shit. Burr. <laughs> Man, it's so weird seeing so many people crowded together, especially with all this COVID going on. You're like, oh, guys, keep your distance, socially distance. And then you remember when these films actually come out and how late really are. <laughs> Before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. The Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to everyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. When I call your name, I shall place the sorting hat on your head and you will be sorted into your houses. Hermione Granger? Gryffindor! <laughs> Slytherin! <laughs> Some bad energy, I sense. Oh, I want him and Harry to be together. Gryffindor! <laughs> Harry Potter? Come on, he's got to be with the crew. But where to put you? Gryffindor. Gryffindor! Hey! I thought the hat was going to do him dirty then. It'd be like, actually, yeah, you can hop in with the bloody nasty guy. I'm so glad they're together. This makes me happy. Very happy right now. I can enjoy my apple juice now. Oh, it is apple juice, by the way. It's not piss. <laughs> Let the feast begin. Now this is what we've actually been waiting for, the food. Oh, sh! I think I need to hop over over there, man. Over, over there. <laughs> I need to hop over there ASAP. Oh, I mean, let's just leave out the fruit. But everything else, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. That's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin House. Mm. What's he of course doing? He Potions. This is the most direct path to the dormitories. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Of course, staircases like to change. There's a lot of stairs. Why don't they just invest in an escalator or some lifts? But then again, that's coming from a very lazy person. 
<laughs> Welcome to the Gryffindor common room. Oh, look at him. I guess it's so hard when you go somewhere new. It's hard to adapt, but I reckon he's going to get the hang of it. He must do. There's several Harry Potter films. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? I think he was asking Harry. Fame isn't everything. Oh, he's really got it out for him, hasn't he? Negative energy, stay far from me. <laughs> Afternoon class. Is this when they learn to fly? Welcome to your first flying lesson. Oh. Oh. So funny, because she's sassy, she's like, up, up, darling, up. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna fall into the building. Oh no. He off on holiday, he off on annual leave right now. He had enough. Oh. If you ask me, he's getting very lucky right now. Oh. Oh! Whoa. Everyone's to keep their feet firmly on the ground while I take Mr. Longbottom to the hospital wing. Come on, Harry, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh no, Harry. Oh. Oh no, he looks so confident. I feel like something's gonna go tits up. Harry Potter, follow me. Wood, I have found you a seeker. Seeker? But first, she is never made the house teens. You must be the youngest Quidditch player in a century. Mm. <laughs> yeah, What's I happened? forgot. The stairs move. Let's go this way. Before the staircase moves again. Um. Does anybody feel like we shouldn't be here? Yeah. This is the third floor. I'm not even it's there forbidden. either. It's still just cats. Run. Now this is where the horror movie vibes start trickling in now, isn't it? It's locked. Move over. Hello, Mora. This door's locked. It was locked, and for good reason. I don't think that's going to help the situation. No way they managed to keep that shut. No, I'm sorry. But I think that size. I mean, I know they're powerful and everything, but. It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> He's like, she's saw her attitude more than I think, is what I really mean. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. Now the chasers handle the quaffle and try to put it through one of those three hoops. But you are a seeker. You catch this, the game is over. You catch this, Potter, and we win. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. <laughs> You do, you're so clever. She is like the teacher's pet, isn't she? She just wants to get in all the teacher's good books. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> She's like also right behind you. Friends. Oh. I think she heard you. Yeah, you think? Halloween season, is it? Man, the food just looks so good. I need an invite myself. Where's Hermione? Ratty Patel said that she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom. She said that she'd been in there all afternoon, crying. Turn around in the dungeon! There's always someone that distract them from eating, right? What do you want to know? <laughs> oh, poor girl. Oh. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeon. He's a bit like an air hostess, isn't he? When something bad's going on, when some real hard turbulence is going on, they're the ones that kind of have to like chill everyone out because everyone's like shit themselves. But they they got to keep cool because it's their job, you know? <laughs> I don't know why that scene reminded me of that for. Hermione, she doesn't know. Oh. I think the children at the dungeon. It's going to 
the girls' bathroom. Girls' bathroom. Damn, Hermione is gonna get. Oof. Just a little surprise. Oh. Um, I don't really think that's gonna help. Yeah. something a little bit more powerful. <gasps> oh, Harry. Oh. Do something! Guardian Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now that hit him a little bit. Oh. 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 oh my goodness. It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Oh, not teacher's pet after all. I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. It was an extremely foolish thing to do. <laughs> Good luck today, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. He really doesn't like him, does he? That explains the blood. Last night, I'm guessing Snape let the troll in as a diversion so he could try and get past that three-headed dog. To Nimbus 2000! Oh, I remember seeing that one. Not your typical broomstick, is it? We know about this one. Okay, so this is where it's going to start getting real now. Scared, Harry? Little. Now these are the two teams I kind of want to see go to head to head. The seeker who catches the snitch ends the game. It's basically just basketball in the air, flying, pretty much. Oh, Harry, shit. It's Snape, he's chasing the broom. This guy. See, cheating. I don't like cheats. What is this mockery? Hermione! Look at him! Literally signs of weakness. Oh, oh no! Fire! How did that happen? Come on, Harry. Yes! What? Stop it! Oh no! Oh, he hasn't. He's got the snitch! Living all with! Ayyyyyy! Well deserved win without cheating. Why would Snape put a curse on Harry's brew? Who knows? Why is he trying to get past that three headed dog on Halloween? Weakness. Who told you about Fluffy? Whatever Fluffy's guarding, Snape's trying to steal it. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. I should not have said that. Regrets. Queen to E5. Oh! <laughs> now, I love that. <laughs> He's going to go and look in the library for information on Nicholas Flamel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. I've got presents. Yeah. Um. He was so used to his brother getting all the presents. There's something quite hefty. Some kind of cloak. Oh, invisible. Now this is going to change the game. That's an invisibility cloak. Okay, Harry, it's kind of creepy just seeing your head there. Can you just take it off now? <laughs> uh. yourself oh no, oh, no. Uh, you don't want me as your enemy clearly i found this in the restricted section <laughs> this really is some horror type of shit, but then i kind of know what's going on so it doesn't make it as weird his parents? 
Again, Helen? It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. Oh man, it's so sad because like he said, he never knew his family and he, he, he just wants that reassurance, isn't he? Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. It can transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink from mortal. Immortal? It means you'll never die. <laughs> That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. Sorry, don't wish to be rude, but I'm in no fit state to entertain today. We know about the Philosopher's Stone. The harm, you know. You know, this should be serious. I think Snake's trying to steal it. Oh, ain't no one going to get past Fluffy. <laughs> ain't a soul knows how. Except for me and Dumbledore. Well, I shouldn't have told you that. I should not have told you that. Mm. That's not just a dragon. That's a Norwegian Ridgeback. Who's that? Malfoy. Oi. Sneaky. Look at him sneaking up on everyone. You ain't sly, bro. Good evening. Hmm. The snidey smile on his face. Oh, four of you will receive detention. Excuse me, Professor. Perhaps I heard you wrong. Hmm. I thought you said the four of us. You will join your classmates in detention. Oh, it wasn't that a silly move now. You'll be serving detention with Hagrid tonight inside the dark forest. The forest? Students aren't allowed. And there are werewolves. Let's go. Man, I would not go at that time. Lamp, torch, anything. Um, you still would not find me out there at that time of night. Even if I was with like a group of people, I just couldn't, just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. That's unicorn blood, that is. Ron, Hermione, you'll come with me. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? Do they become friends at one point though? I can imagine them becoming friends. I feel like maybe in the next few films or something, they might come together. Who bloody knows? Oh. Poor Harry. Got to deal with the consequences now. I don't know if I want to watch this. Oh! What was that thing you saved me from? A monstrous creature. That was Voldemort. Do you know what is hidden in the school at this very moment, Mr. Potter? This is where Voldemort comes in then. The Philosopher's Stone. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. Who's the one wizard Voldemort always feared? Dumbledore. As long as Dumbledore's around, Harry, you're safe. Don't you think it's a bit odd that what Hagrid wants more than anything is a dragon? And a stranger turns up who just happens to have one? Hagrid, who gave you the dragon egg? I don't know. I never saw his face. He kept his hood up. I told him, I said, after Fluffy, a dragon's going to be no problem. But I told him, I said... I said, the trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Take Fluffy, for example. Just play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. Yeah, they're going to use the information now. We have to see Professor Dumbledore. He received an urgent hour from the Ministry of Magic and left immediately for London. He's gone. This is about the Philosopher's Stone. I love the voice Harry is getting. He's going to try and steal it. He's become so confident from the get-go. Good afternoon. Oh, he's just everywhere, isn't he? People will think you're up to something. I won't let you. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again. The Traficus Totalis. Ay, poor guy. You're a little scary, son. <laughs> he said that in the most innocent of voices. Cutie. Hello, Amora. Wait a minute. He's... Snoring. Snape's already been here. I have to move its paw. Oh no. Now it's gonna go tits up, surely. Push! Oh, I... I'll go first. Don't follow until I give you a sign. 
Oi. If something bad happens, Oi. get yourselves out. The heart. Oh, hell. Oh. <gasps> Y'all just need to jump down there right now. Hey. Don't even wait for that. Go ahead. Just, just bloody risk it. Go for it. It's when the eye opened and I was like, Ooh. oh no. I don't know where I would have rather stayed but uh, i just wouldn't have gone there in the first place but they're just curious aren't they you have to relax if you don't it'll only kill you faster um oh, what I say. Trust me. Oh, oh no he's not even gonna relax is he he's gonna have the aggressive drop now I mean, he could have just relaxed, it would have made everyone's life just that slight bit easier. Lucky Hermione pays attention in her bollocks. <laughs> Teacher's pet. I've never seen birds like this. They're not birds. They're keys. There! I see it! The one with the broken wing! Come on. Come on. Damn, some darts kind of shit right now. It's a chessboard. Oh, this is the big daddy chessboard. Are they gonna have to do this to try and escape? There's the door. It's not gonna be that easy. Yeah. Mm -mm. They're gonna have to work it to get out. Now, what do we do? Um, Harry, you take the empty bishop square. Hermione, you'll be the queenside castle. I'll be a knight. What happens now? White moves first. This is going to be interesting. Move then, D5! I'm hoping Ron knows what he's doing right now. Fudge! I mean, at least they got a taste of it, right? They kind of know what to expect. Or two, but... This is very aggressive. Once I make my move, the queen will take me. Then you're free to check the king. Oh, damn. No, no, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. <gasps> Don't move! Don't forget, we're still playing. Checkmate. Take care of Ron. Then go to the Owlery. Send a message to Dumbledore. Why is it getting scary now? I feel like shit's really about to hit the fan now. You? Mm -hmm. No. Snape tried to kill me. No, dear boy. I tried to kill you. What does this mirror do? I see what I desire. I see myself holding the stone. But how do I get it? Who's the boy? Come here, Potter! What do you see? What is it? What do you see? I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. Lies. Oh, the shivers. Lies in your pocket. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Would you like to see your mother and father again? We can bring them back. I mean, I know what you want, Harry, but... That's it. Stone, sir. 
Only a person who wanted to find the stone, find it, but not use it, would be able to get it. Does that mean that Voldemort can never come back? Oh, I'm afraid there are ways in which he can return. Hmm. You're gonna catch it all by surprise. Do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? It was because of your mother. She sacrificed herself for you. Mm. And that kind of act leaves a mark. This kind of mark cannot be seen. What is it? Love, Mary. Feast time! Feast time! This is what we've really been waiting for. And toast! Okay. Another year gone. The House Cup needs awarding. In fourth place, Gryffindor with 312 points. Oh, fourth. Third place, Hufflepuff. In second place, Ravenclaw. Oh no, so that means that one team of one. And in first place, Slytherin House. Not deserved. I ain't clapping. Well done, Slytherin. However, I have a few last minute points to award. Oh. To Miss Hermione Granger. Mm -hmm. With the cool use of intellect, 50 points. Not bad. Every little helps, contributes. To Mr. Ronald Weasley. Mm. For the best played game of chess, 50 points. Uh, hi. Now this is what I'm talking about. To Mr. Harry Potter. Yes. For pure love and outstanding courage. Extra 50 points. I award Gryffindor House. 60 points. I now that is switched up the scoreboard now. That switched it up completely. Finally, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. I award 10 points to Neville Longbottom. Look at him. <laughs> yes. Gryffindor wins. Woo, woo, woo. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm talking about. A, a, a. I mean, I would chuck something up in the air, but just my straw. Boo. <laughs> Now, I was completely shook when they said they were fourth place. So I was like, nah, something's got to switch up here. Ain't this saying how it is? Thought you were leaving without saying goodbye, did you? This is for you. Souvenir. Oh. oh I feel like he really needs to see things like this as well. Thanks, Hagrid. And his friends in Hagrid. Oh. Oh wow. Interesting. Interesting. How Harry just entered a world of magic. Quite literally. He went from having such... I don't even know how to explain. It's almost like he escaped the life that he didn't really want to be living in and got offered such an opportunity that of course he couldn't say no to. I mean, there was a roller coaster along the way. Let's let's get that straight. There was a couple of obstacles in the way, but man, can we just talk about the confidence? How his confidence grew from how he was at the start. He was literally a different, completely different person at the end of that film, and I'm so proud of him. I feel like. He is my own son. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of where he come from. He was put down so many times and he just picked himself back up and he always provided a fight and that's really what I like about Harry. And of course there's plenty more Harry Potter movies to come and you guys are probably wondering if I'm going to be watching the rest. Surprisingly, as you guys know, I did know a couple of the characters beforehand because I have watched bits and pieces here and there. Okay, I'm not completely blind, but watching that start to finish, no breaks, no distractions, I can really understand how and why people would get into Harry Potter and the rest of the movies too. So yeah, I guess you can say I'm intrigued to find out more. 
again not my typical film if I'm being completely honest but I feel like there's still room like there's interest there I'm intrigued to see how Harry Potter blossoms into a young man shall we say and it would be good to see his growth and his confidence just grow even more than it already is and of course we can't forget he did not know anything about his family he was brought up in quite a sad way and I feel like him starting his new journey with I'm just gonna call it his family because he made a friend in Hermione, Ron and of course we cannot forget Hagrid there's just so many bonds there and I feel like he really needed that just to show how loved he actually is and his potential so I'm really glad he has got kind of like the reassurance and I just want to see him grow so I'm just gonna leave this one here there's weirdly not much to say about this one because I feel like again this is only the first one I've watched so I can't really judge it in a sense so I just want to get jumping straight into all the other ones but I hope you guys enjoyed this again a little bit different thanks to my Patreon guys who did recommend this amongst the rest but hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye